Uh, Hello, uh, Brad here. Welcome back to Brad's Beat Off, week three. I'm gonna show you how I made this. Out of this. And this. Yes, you spread your Okay, so let's break it down. Gonna wait out the sirens because that's what we do. Wait out the sirens. Pop on the old headphones here so that I can hear the music that I'm going to show you. So this is what Bill Evans' song, Peace Peace, sounds like. Pretty mellow. I shouldn't talk when I'm not looking. So then I chopped it up and got these samples. And then with the help of compression and EQ, I got these sounds. fills it out and makes it a little bit bigger and fuller sounding, a little more important. So after I got the samples in place, I needed some drums to build from. Pretty basic. There's actually a lot that this is built from. Let's start with the kick drum. This is the original kick before any like processing happened. And then I added on my effects, and it became this. A little bit thicker. A little bit more of a kick, because it's a kick drum. Now let's talk about that snare sound. So there's like a couple different hits, wood blocks and stuff like that. And this is what it sounds like without any effects. And then this is what it is with effects. This is also happening underneath the snare to give it a little more of a body. Here's the full snare sound. So now we have our drums in place, I needed to create some sort of bass line to start bringing a melody out of those samples. So, this is the bass line that I created. Now that there's a bass line, I had to create some texture. This actually started off as a, a lead that I was trying out. It was a little too distracting and repetitive, so I stretched out the notes out and added a lot of reverb and delay, and I got this kind of ethereal sound. Ooh. We've got to come up with some sort of hook or some sort of lead part or something that's gonna stick in your head. The African marimba, which sounds basically like a tuned wood block. This is what that sounds like. I added a bunch of effects to it and that's what this is. I've done this before. I've sampled a jazz song and I put it together and I'm like, you know, what's special about this? There's nothing special about this. Enter Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald. So I pulled samples from Louis Armstrong's song, Summertime, in which he and Ella Fitzgerald duet and he plays trumpet. Not even in the same key or the same tempo. So that's what this sounds like. That's the music part. This is the singing part that I took samples from. Oh, don't want to play too much because I don't want to get anything taken down here. So you get the idea. I took their singing sounds and I turned them into this. Hey. 
So this one was really difficult to get to fit in with the other music. It took a lot of pitching and tuning the individual samples, which was very tedious. The, the end result with everything put together, I think, makes it kind of cool because it, it's something that I'm pretty sure no one has ever made. So I did the same exact thing with the trumpet to give you an idea what I'm talking about, this is what the trumpet sounded like before I processed it and uh, fixed it up. So to go from that to this. Oh yeah. And of course the last piece I had to add, if this is going to be a lo-fi jazz hip hop song, is some vinyl crackles. Boom. So now we have an eight bar loop that sounds pretty good. The samples are the same from the first part and the second part, but we added a new drum part. Um, so that's what this is with the samples. <laughs> Nice. And the only real new thing in the second part that does not exist at all in the first part is this little part. It's just a nice little rhythm texture that I thought kind of gave it a little bit of life. I appreciate you stopping by and watching. Be sure to like the video down below and maybe subscribe. There's gonna be new videos every Monday and I'm streaming live on Twitch during the week where you can see me creating these songs live. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. There's a link to the full song down below in the description. And without any further ado, I present to you what I call summertime peace. Enjoy, and thank you for watching.